I've always been someone who believed in the utility of nuclear deterrence. It wasn't always the majority view in the Liberal Party, but when the Liberal Party amalgamated with the SDP, I became the defence spokesman, and one of my first tasks was to pilot through the uh, annual conference of the new party a defence policy which accepted that Britain should maintain an independent nuclear deterrent. But the advent of Barack Obama and his commitment to multilateral nuclear disarmament, uh, the initiatives taken by uh, Henry Kissinger and George Shultz and Sam Nunn and Perry as well in the United States, have opened up a debate, a dialogue, which we've never really seen in relation to the whole issue of multilateral nuclear disarmament. In the past, the argument has been about uh, unilateral nuclear disarmament uh, or full-scale deterrence. And now, for the first time, uh, there's the opportunity to join debate uh, on uh, the uh, eff efficiency, eff efficacy, if you like, of nuclear weapons, uh, but also whether in the changed uh, strategic environment after the end of the Cold War, it is not possible to reduce to a very substantial extent the salience which nuclear weapons have in defence policies. And here in Britain, uh, at the instigation really in the first instance of Margaret Beckett, former Foreign Secretary uh, in the Blair government, uh, we have put together a collection of some 15 people, uh, former uh, Chiefs of the Defence Staff, uh, former Secretaries of State for Defence, the Secretary of State for Foreign Affairs, a shadow spokesman uh, like myself and Michael Ancrum from the Conservatives, uh, all people who would never previously have been regarded, and uh, certainly never were unilateralists, and would never previously have been regarded as other than those who would essentially preserve the status quo in the issue of nuclear deterrence. Uh, the mere fact that this group has come together is of itself notable, and what we're seeking to do uh, on this side of the Atlantic is to mirror the debate which is already taking place in the United States uh, and to ensure that when it comes to the review uh, conference of the Nuclear Non-Proliferation Treaty later this year, that Britain takes a constructive part uh, and in particular is willing to do everything it can to advance the cause of multilateral disarmament. But proliferation, the determination of other states to obtain uh, a nuclear capability uh, will be a very considerable obstacle in advancing the cause of multilateralism. Iran in particular is in people's minds. And uh, there's a generally held view that if Iran were to become a nuclear capable state, uh, then others in the region, like for example Saudi Arabia, uh, Egypt, and possibly Turkey as well, would follow suit. So if your objective uh, is to advance the cause of multilateral disarmament, it certainly is not assisted if, a bit like dragon's teeth, uh, other nuclear states uh, are springing up round about. And that's why the commitment of the five declared nuclear powers, the five permanent members of the Security Council, is so important because if they seem to be fulfilling their responsibilities under the treaty, uh, if they seem to be genuinely concerned about multilateral disarmament, then that will operate as a very considerable break on the nuclear aspirations of other countries. Um, now, I think that, rather curiously, it is the the experts, if you like, the politicians, uh, the policy makers, the analysts uh, who see uh, this remarkable opportunity uh, and are concerned to make sure that it doesn't slip by. Such is the opportunity which is presented here in 2010 by the arrival in the White House of someone uh, with a commitment to multilateral disarmament, uh, by the coincidence of the uh, review conference of the Non-Proliferation Treaty, that there's an overwhelming need, you might even argue, responsibility 
moral responsibility for collective leadership. And that's why the top level group is important. I don't want to blow our own trumpets too much, but if even five years ago you had suggested that you could get together a collection of people from all three main political parties in the United Kingdom, former chiefs of defense staff, secretaries of state for foreign affairs, secretaries of state for defense, people who've been their shadows in one room, and get them to sign up to the cause of multilateral nuclear disarmament, people would not have believed you if you'd said that. And just as uh, the people I've been describing who were formerly in positions of great importance and great responsibility uh, fulfilled those responsibilities then, uh, they have and feel an equal uh, obligation uh, to fulfill those responsibilities once more, but in an entirely different direction.